Big queens represent. Look at this, buddy. Take it in. Soak it up, because the pads underneath here are... <laughs> <laughs> My name's Pamara Fifth. I am 28 years old. Don't tell anyone. And I'm from a little place called Camden, New South Wales, Australia. I'm equal parts Kiwi Queen and I'm equal parts Australian Queen. My father's side is Aboriginal and my mother's side is Māori, so I like to think of myself as the meat between the sausage sanger. I've been around the Sydney scene for about eight years now. I started back in 2014. I looked like a bastard, and now I just look like a bastard, but in prettier clothes. <laughs> Pamara Fifth is like an amalgamation of a truck driver and an ex-prostitute. Just wandering the streets for money at this point. <laughs> Pamara Fifth is a loud, funny character, caring. She'll give you the shirt off her back, but she'll also remind you that it's not your colour. What I like to say is that I'm good at a lot of things, great at nothing. I can hold a tune, I can keep in time, I can sew a seam, I can read the house down boots, gaga mama, work. Embrace the curves, embrace the body. There's nothing more delicious than a queen with curves. I love a big hip, big booty, thick thighs, but let's be real, it does have its drawbacks. <laughs> well, the drawbacks of being a bigger woman is first of all, you can't fit in the fucking chair. This stool feels like a pencil in my rectum. <laughs> the cost of fabric, the meters of fabric you need to get just to cover this body. Not to mention that. <laughs>